Dr. Keith Jerome is a virologist at Fred Hutch Cancer Center. His research focuses on persistent viruses like HIV, hepatitis B, and herpes simplex virus. And we're working on trying to develop new gene therapy-based cures to, to not just treat these viruses, but actually cure them. Herpes simplex virus 1, HSV1 for short, mostly shows up as painful blisters around the mouth, commonly referred to as cold sores, but it can also infect the genital region. These are really common. I mean, over half the people in the world have one or the other or both. So they're, they're very common infections. Here's how common, according to the latest data from the World Health Organization, 3.7 billion people under age 50 worldwide have HSV-1, an estimated 491 million people between age 15 and 49 have herpes simplex 2, the virus that causes genital herpes infections. While there are existing antiviral herpes treatments available today. Pretty effective, but, but don't really solve the problem. That's because the herpes virus in particular buries itself deep into nerve cells and can go dormant. And the viruses hang out there in a form that stays for life. So while antivirals are at the moment treatments. That long lived form in the nerves is not even touched. So it can always come back and always start new episodes. Dr. Jerome and his team believe they have a cure by way of gene therapy to get rid of a herpes infection for good. Their findings published in the journal Nature Communications in May. So what we're doing with our gene therapy is actually sending a protein into those nerve cells that actually looks for the virus when it finds it. It, it basically snips it just like scissors and cuts it in a couple places and the body recognizes, suddenly can see that and gets rid of it. The gene therapy also significantly lowered the frequency and amount of viral shedding in animal testing and worked as effectively, if not more, for genital HSV-1 infections. So in our uh, preclinical experiments, we're able to eliminate 90, 95, sometimes up to 97% of the virus out of these nerves. And that's the latent long-lived form that we're actually getting rid of. It's a long sought after cure, not only because of its prevalence, but the stress, even stigma it causes. For some people it is not a big deal. For other people it's an enormous deal. And, and that's each person's lived experience. What we wanna do is offer a tool that says, if this really matters to you, we can help you make your life better. That's where we wanna get. While this preclinical phase showed promising results, the gene therapy, of course, has yet to enter clinical trials and is not yet available right now. If approved, Dr. Jerome sees a treatment administered as an injection. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.